hello everyone so in the previous video we have seen the direct mapping techniques to place the main memory block into s block so let's see the limitation of direct mapping so the limitation it it suffers from conflict penalties right so what is that conflict penalties so present of one block abstracting the incoming block in spite of the catch is free right so in the previous example we had a four blocks of cache memory right four blocks so we were performing modulo 4 operation modulo 4 operation on main memory block right it can be placed in zero 1, 2, and 3 based on the result. Now, suppose these are the main memory block. So, when this block needs to be placed in cache memory, in cache memory, then this all block, see the modulo 4 operation on this, which will give you result 0. Means all are the candidates for block number 0. So, first main memory block 0. 0 modulo 0, 0. So it will be placed here. Then block number 4. If we need to put block number 4 into cache memory, then that block number 4, right, that must be in block uh, 0 of cache memory. So we need to replace that 0 and need to put 4. So this way you can see 0, 4, then 0, 4, 8, 0. So we have these 3 blocks are empty. Then also we are using this one only, right? So this will increase your page fault also, right? And not utilizing it properly. So this is the limitation of direct mapping technique. Okay. So the limitation that is solved by associative mapping.